Hi, boys and girls, Miss Schubert here with another book and a lesson. Today we're going to read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It's a great story about the alphabet. Let's see what you think about it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y Z. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E F G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L M N O P and Q R S and T U V. Still more W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet up the oh no, chicka chicka boom boom. They all fell off or out of the tree, didn't they? Skit, scat, scoodle, doot. Flip, flop, flee. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. So it must have been all the lowercase letters that went up the tree. And here are all the uppercase or the big ones coming to pet their babies. Help us up, cried A, B, C. Next from the pile up, skinned knee D and stub toed E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped and N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit scat scoodle doot. Flip flop flee. Look who's coming. It's black eyed P. Q R S and loose tooth T. I like loose tooth T. Then U V W wiggle jiggle free. Last to come, X, Y, Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka, chicka, boom, boom, looks like there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And there are all the letters again. Let's say them one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And that's the end of that story. Our first thing that we're going to do is a an alphabet tree. In your packet, you have an alphabet tree. It looks like this. And you have paper clipped to that some round shapes like this. These are coconuts. And on each coconut is a letter of your name. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the coconuts and you're going to glue them on your tree. 
But first, we need to color the tree. So let's look at the paper and see what you're going to do. All right, there's my coconut tree. Uh-oh. I didn't mean for it to go down that far. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it falls like that and I don't like it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to color our coconut tree. I don't know where to put it so you can see it. So I'm gonna try and turn it again and hopefully it won't fall this time. There's the coconut tree. Now the front of the book looks like this. It has a dark green and a light green for the leaves. So I've picked a dark green and a light green crayon. And I'm gonna try and color my leaves that way. And I only have one brown in my pack. I have a pack like this of 24. So I only have one brown. So I'm gonna color extra dark on the trunk of the tree. And then I'm gonna color my coconuts lighter. Maybe you can do that with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and color my coconuts in my tree really light brown like this. And when I color, I'm gonna to try to stay in the lines because that's what kindergartners learn to do. They learn to color and stay in the lines and be super neat about the way they color. See that? Well, I might as well go ahead and color the stem while I'm at it. And I'm gonna color it really dark because it's darker than my coconuts. And you know how I color dark? I just press down a little harder when I color. And when I color light, I just press down a little lighter. And do you see that I'm staying in the lines? Yes, that's something you need to practice. You have to have strong hand muscles to control the crayon and your pencils when you're coloring or writing. So now back to the light green, dark green. I'm gonna color one leaf light green. And then I'm gonna color the next one dark green. What am I doing? Staying in the lines because that's very important. You have to control your hands and you have to have those muscles. And the more you work with your hands and doing small things, playing with Play-Doh or, or building small things, you're making those muscles stronger so that it's easier to control your hand when you're coloring. Mm. I'm making a pattern, boys and girls. A pattern is when the colors repeat themselves. Light green, dark green, light green, dark green, light green, dark green. So you keep coloring your tree. I know I'm coloring, I can color faster than most of you can, but that's okay. You can pause the video while you're coloring your tree, or you can just listen and hear the instructions and then go do it yourself. You don't even need to watch me color, but I wanna color mine so I can show you how I want you to do it. Again, try your best to stay inside the lines because that's very important. It means you're getting strong kindergarten hands when you can slow down and control your hand and stay inside the lines. Okay, I've got one more leaf to, oh no. Well, watch this. It didn't work out for my pattern, did it? So I am going to be tricky and I'm gonna use both colors on one leaf so that it'll be a pattern for me. Oh, you know what Miss Schubert forgot? Miss Schubert forgot to put her name at the top of the paper. Remember, we always put our name at the top of the paper. Now, You've got all these coconuts. You have to cut the coconuts out. You can color the coconuts if you want to. Um, I didn't color them before we started, so I'm not gonna color them now, but I, you probably wanna go ahead and color yours before you cut them out. Remember, your thumb goes on top when you're cutting. You open and close, open and close, and it's circles are kinda tricky, but you hold the scissors and you turn the paper. I'm just turning the paper right around when I'm opening and, opening and closing my scissors. And I know that I can cut faster than you can. So 
You can pause the video while you're cutting out your coconuts so that I don't get ahead of you because I'm pretty sure that I will finish before you do. And that's okay because I'm old and I've been cutting out things for a long, long time, so it's easier for me. And I've had a lot more practice than you. But guess what? If you keep practicing and cutting, you'll be quick like me. It's something you learn as you get older. You know what? While I'm cutting these out, I think maybe we should say our ABCs. What do you think? All right, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job, guys. Those were all the letters of the alphabet and they all went up the coconut tree. What happened when they got to the top of that coconut tree and all of the letters were up there? Yes, the tree bent over and they all fell out. And some of them even got hurt, didn't they? But that's okay, their mamas and daddies and uncles and aunts and whoever else it said came and picked them up and dusted off their pants and they were all ready to go again, I think. Who snuck out first to do it again? Do you remember? Yes, it was A. He went out after dark and climbed the tree. What do you think will happen when they all climb the tree again? Do you think they'll all fall out again? I do too. Okay, I have all of my coconuts cut out. These are all the letters of my name. So now I'm just gonna get my glue if you don't have glue, you can use tape. If you don't have stick glue, you can use runny glue if you've got it, it doesn't matter. Then I just want you to take your coconuts and I just want you to put them all over the place. Your letters don't have to be in order. You already know it's the letters of your name, so it's okay to just put them on your coconut tree. And hopefully they won't fall out of the tree like the ones in the story. Be sure you put all of the little, <coughs> excuse me, coconut dots at the top because then you will be gluing your letters on correctly. If you turn them upside down, some of your letters won't look right. So all the coconuts, when I wrote the letters on them for you, I made sure they were all, the dots were at the top. So you'll know it's the top of your letter. And you just glue them on your tree just like this. Now you won't have as many letters as I do. Some of you do. Some of you just have three or four letters and that's great. Okay, and that's what it looks like at the end. There's my coconut tree with my letters. Do I have all the letters of the alphabet on here? No, I just have the letters of my name. So that's okay, that's what we want you to do. And then be sure that you practice spelling your name so that you'll be ready for kindergarten. I'll be back later with some more things to do.